Hi boards. I am just getting a drink and everything before I start. Right, I have my stereotypical British cup of tea, so I'm gonna move on. My green screen is still being a bit funny because it's daytime. It doesn't like the light in daytime for some reason. Um, maybe I can tweak it a little bit. There we go, that looks a bit better. Right, remember to load the right game, because I was dicking around. <gasps> Carl! Hi everybody. Imagine getting a Red Phantom Collapse raid Kai strike the start. invaded the stream with 14 viewers. Hey everybody. Do a shout out for Carl. <gasps> No mind, mine was on it. Doing pogo stock, were you doing the new map? The new map looks great. E, e, e here is the hero of the day, high trouble. Why is the shout out thing not working? Mm. Time to immediately. Go back in. Ah, oh, it's because the token ran out. Stupid thing. <gasps> Hi, everybody. Welcome, Rainbows. And yeah, Spike, who's that Pokemon isn't on? Because we're not playing Pokemon. Right. Let's try this again. Oh, it's fun to do some bug fit, like bug testing right at the start of a stream. Mm. It annoys me when these things don't work. But yeah, I am doing Dark Souls 3. It is a challenge run. Uh, and it is a painful one. Yeah, it's a uh, fat wizard, so we are fat rolling all the way, and uh, sorcery only, so I can only use spells, and we have this beautiful, beautiful character here. It depends, yeah, it depends if he has clips as well. He might not. Oh, well, 
Maybe it does work on Cal. Oh yeah, Cal doesn't have any clips, that's why. Oh well. But yeah, we are trying to fat roll our way to victory with pure sorcery. Uh, I currently have two fully upgraded staffs to use. A hoist spike. And uh, I do need to level up a bit before I use my other one. But today I'm going to be bouncing my head off one of the optional bosses because this is an all bosses run and they all need doing at some point. So we're back in Lotherick Castle. I was dicking around in the DLC a bit last time, but bugger that, we'll just go this way. So we've already fought this lot about a dozen times, so I'm just going to run past them all. I'm Oh no, that's going to kill me, innit? Bastard. Little bastards. And my uh, green screen is being funny again. I need to sort something out for my green screen. The lighting. But yeah, the uh, the plan is today to bounce my head off one of the bosses down here and try and get it done. <gasps> yeah, but Alex is the good one. Alex is the do not do much swearing, I am the fuck these guys. They never used to be this aggressive. <laughs> but yeah, I am the bad one, I am the one who does all the swearing and stuff. Right. We're off to a good start. Um... There. Now we just run for the elevator to get to the shortcut for the boss and rely on a good old fashioned bit of invulnerability to avoid this dude. Oh, both of them. Usually don't end up with both of them here. He fell. He fell. They're both inside for some reason. Let's go. Give me away. Go back. So, where is it, Soul Spear? I have a strat for this guy, I just need to get into the groove for it. We are just going to be Soul Spearing him all the way. If I don't get hit by every other mob on the way... made it to the boss door this time. This does not board well. Right. Away we go. Hopefully, the elevator should be at the top this time. Don't leave me alone. And if the elevator is at the top, I could just run straight in. So yeah, the plan is 
to try and soul spear this guy into oblivion if I ever make it to the boss fight. <laughs> there we go. So, off up. I'm doing the right spike. Come out. Come out. I have today off work, which is always good. You were born a child of crackers. What could you possibly fear? No. No. Show yourself, Oscar. Right, we've got him to phase two already. Get away from his legs though, I'm trapped. I like it. Taken. So this is me getting my ass kicked by one of the optional bosses. It is a challenge run, so not allowed to use any melee weapons at all. And and I have to fat roll, which means my dodge roll is this. It is tiny and slow. Um, and basically it's pure sorcery, so I can only use spells. Which is alright against some things, against this guy a bit of a struggle. struggle. So, I am just bouncing my head off this boss today until he's dead. It is the, the goal for today's stream. Little shit. How did you survive that fall? Right, I'm going to send it back up this time. But yeah, uh, the plan is bounce my head off this boss, or at least try to. Then we can get some decent progression done, and I can get a few more levels. Because despite having all my other stats, I can get Way more intelligence. <laughs> and uh, I can get a bit more decks. Like three more decks will uh, put me up to maximum casting speed. Yeah, I've done that a few times. So I can, like I had a guy uh, I watched not long ago who went to the same high school as me. So when he put his cam on, I was hoping I'd recognise him, but no, it didn't look familiar at all, unfortunately. Chapter 1 The Boy, the boy Who lived. lived Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, of number 4, Privet gone? Drive, were proud Everybody to say that they were perfectly me. normal. Thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious, because they just didn't hold with such nonsense. Mr. Dursley was the director of a firm called Grunnings, which made drills. He was a big, beefy man with hardly any neck, although he did have a very large moustache. Mrs. Dursley was thin and blonde and had nearly twice the usual amount of neck, which came in very useful as she spent so much of her time craning over garden fences, spying on the neighbors. The Dursleys had a small son called Dudley and in their opinion there was no finer boy anywhere.
having fun spike seeing as this is basically a harry potter build Yeah, Dudley does need a punch. He's a bit of a dick. Right. It's the charge I still need to avoid. Otherwise, we're good. Yeah, I had a couple of do's at this boss the other day. Like, off stream. Just to get my strat down for it and... I've pretty much sorted the strat, it's just actually killing you. Stop that. The Dursleys had everything they wanted, but they also had a secret, and their greatest fear was that somebody would discover it. They didn't think they could bear it if anyone found out about the Potters. Mrs. Potter was Mrs. Dursley's sister, but they hadn't met for several years. In fact, Mrs. Dursley pretended she didn't have a sister, because her sister and her good-for-nothing husband were as undersleeved as it was possible to be. The Dursleys shuddered to think what the neighbors would say if the Potters arrived in the street. The Dursleys We're knew gonna get the, the entirety of Harry Potter's boy. Too, but they had doing? never even seen him. The boy was I'm waiting for when you paste it wrong and it ends away. up in Dutch they instead. They didn't want Dudley mixing with a child like that. <laughs> uh, the Dursley's real secret is the uh, is that they run a fetish club down in Soho. That's where they spend their weekends. Ronan doesn't feel right unless he spends the weekend with a ball gag. Dursley woke up on the dull, grey Tuesday our story starts. There was nothing about the cloudy sky outside to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening all over the country. Mr. Dursley hummed as he picked out his most boring type for work, and Mrs. Dursley gossiped away happily as she wrestled the screen and Dudley into his high chair. None of them noticed the large, tawny owl flutter past the window. Eight, Mr. Dursley picked up his briefcase, pecked Mrs. Dursley on the cheek, and tried to kiss Dudley goodbye but missed, because Dudley was now having a tantrum and throwing his Bye -bye, the we did it. Little tyke chortled Mr. Dursley as he left the house. He got into the car and backed out of number four's drive. There we go. That was the goal for this stream done. In like three tries. Uh, so we got his soul. We will be using that because I'm pretty sure that gives us a decent spell as well. So, 
back to Firelink. It was on the corner of the street that he noticed the first sign of something peculiar Ray Cat reading a map. For a second, Mr. Dursley didn't realize what he had seen then he jerked his head right. around to look um, again. There was a tabby cat standing on the corner of Privet Drive, right. but there First. wasn't a map in sight. Oops. What could he have been thinking of? It must First have been we need to go and see our body um, Mr. Dursley blinked and stared at up the cat. here, the legless it man. Stared back. The legless lord As Mr. Dursley drove around the corner and up the road, he watched the cat in his mirror. It was now reading oh, the sign that said Privet Drive No. Uh, Looking at the sign, and we are getting white dragon breath. Signs. Check. Mr. Dursley Can't gave himself yet, a little shake and in, put the cat out of his spot. mind. Oh. As he drove toward town, he thought of nothing except um, a large order of thrills we got he was hoping K. to get that day. Mm. You enough for a level? Yeah, we will get more int because more int is always good. <laughs> so yeah, we got a bunch of int. We've got. Uh, what are we up to now? You done there, Spike? Uh. 47 int, I believe I need one more for Crystal Soul Spear, is it? Um, have a look. Crystal Soul Spear, yeah, one more. So we'll stick you back on and we'll stick our handy sword spell back on. And we will make our way to the Dragonland. <laughs> yeah, you're alright, Spike, it doesn't bother me. Um, so we got our fully upgraded staffs, we've got candlestick. I should probably upgrade the candlestick a bit. Or even Can I simply infuse it? Because if I can, it will then also ah, regenerate mana for me. Needs. Oh Shane! Uh, infuse. I can't infuse the Skull's Candlestick, uh, but I can reinforce it, so we will do. Seven. Yeah, but seven's good. So I have literally just beat a boss. Um, so we're carrying on with the challenge now. My one chat, my one goal for this stream was to beat this boss, and I did it in like second, third try. Uh, next Saturday's Harry Potter. I'm not sure. I always forget where we're up to. What was the last one we watched? Last one we watched was. Prisoner of Azkaban, was it? Or was it Goblet of Fire? Last one was Goblet of Fire, so that means the next one will be... Order of the Phoenix? Yeah, Order of the Phoenix is next. Then it's Half Half Blood Prince, and then it's the two um, Deathly Hallows films, or whatever they're called. So, Cirrus is dead. So yeah, we've got a decent amount of them to go. I will probably be late again on Saturday, because Saturday is my D&D &D night, so I'll be running D&D. &D. And we will probably be going later than normal because I'm working on Saturday as well. So in here we've got everybody's favourite thing, which is dragons. Everybody loves dragons. 
and they are weak to magic. Nice. Yeah, my Saturday this Saturday will literally be I really like work. nuts. Someone is going to clip it. <sighs> Immediately after work, I'll be heading to D&D. I will probably be doing that until late. <gasps> Path of the Dragon. Everybody loves this. Switch. Path of Sea Dragon. Where is it? So we just got a new emote. New emote gets us to a secret area, which we'll be going to soon. But first, we have other secret area. Uh, yep. So you are a regular chest. What have you got? Titanite scale. Useful. Then we've got this place. I was amazed when I first found this. Because um, there were no messages or anything. It's when I first played Dark Souls 3. There were no messages or anything here. But I got invaded. And I ran over here and like managed to hit them and accidentally opened the wall. But now we are into secret place. So this is Untended Graves. Which is weird, wobbly, timey stuff. Like, I could never work out exactly how it works, but apparently it's like a possible future or something. But this is basically the opening of the game again. You look at the very beginning of the game, and up here is where you start. And up here in this timeline, we've got the creepy bird people. Uh, that poison fog reaches far. Ah, uh, the other one behind hasn't seen more good. It obscures him as well. No worries, Trua. I know you were looking forward to finishing work. Alright, what have we got here? We have... Ash and Estus Ring. Which is that one? Ash and Estus Ring increases focus points restored with the Ash and Estus Flask. That's a pretty decent ring, but I will be sticking with my spell rings. So we've got increases intelligence, boosts sorceries and greatly boosts, and then we have Scholar Ring, which makes me cast faster. Where's it gone? There. Sage Ring, I should say. So the stuff I have equipped is shortens my spell casting time, increases my int, so more damage, better spells, more damage, more damage. And I'm also wearing the funky hat that gives me more damage as well. But yeah, this is basically just like a re-opening of the beginning of the game. Um, do you have parry? No, you don't. Oh well. Um, what's this? Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. We have gra grave tenders. I recognise you. Can hear you as well over there. Right, let's go left. These guys are probably best with... Yep, there you are. I'm already out of magic. I hate those guys. They're a pain. But I got an Estus back, which is always good. And they have bleed. That's just mean. Dog! Donate chunk. Chunks are useful. Never have too many Titanite chunks. 
Is there another grave tender over here? There's more dogs. Hi, Alex. I beat a Cirrus on like my third try. tried to. So yeah, I have already achieved my goal for this stream. All I wanted to do was kill a Ceros and he's already dead. So now it's continuing through these fun optional areas. Right, we'll take you out first. I am getting phantom inputs. My controller dying. No, it's not. No, it's not. I fucked up. <laughs> that's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. Luckily, souls do not matter. Right, the level that I'm at. It's like boss souls and not much else will get me a level. But you dead. Being summoned to another world. I'm going to rescue somebody. That's why I love this covenant. Where <laughs> is it gonna drop us? Where are we going? Where are we at? We're back here! Louis Deer and Lilith. So we got Red Phantom there. And an NPC. Did not think you guys would still be alive. I'm about to get battered. Yeah. He was using the mining pick. No escape from that thing. Yeah, the weapon that guy was using is the mining pick. And it is crazy in PvP. Like, if you catch somebody with it, they get staggered and they stay staggered. But the only way around it is if you're wearing, like, the heaviest armor, like Havel's armor or something like that. Otherwise, it will stagger you. And I just happened to get pinned against the wall with it. Who let you alive? Right, back to Flash Sword. Large tenant shard over this way, if I remember, are two crystal lizards who I will be ignoring because I don't know if there's any other items over here, but they are highly resistant to magic. Uh, I see no sparklies, so it's just those two who are getting ignored. Yeah, those guys are highly resistant to magic, like, highly resistant. So no way am I fighting two at once. Not on loose, I absolutely have to. Um, what I should do though... Because I remember something that happens here. There she is. Grim held. Use Soul Shower if you want, but 
I got the better spells. Wizard fight. Got you. Come on, boy. Now there isn't a bonfire here at this point. When there used to be a bonfire. Oi. No. In the opening of the game, there's a bonfire here, but for some reason, he's not here for this one. Look at you. Got these nerds down here. You get bashed with the staff. Bloody hollows. Those guys still hurt if they catch him. Right, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is the area with the fucked up water. So there's an audio bug here they never fixed. But if you hear. When I walk through the water, it's fine. If I sprint, it cuts out the sound. Like, it's immediately after you respawn. And it's a bug that's been there since, like, the start of the game. Right. So, we got you to take care of. Get you on recovery instead. But yeah, there's such just something... Oh, there's two! I forgot. That's why I should pay attention to things. And I have never seen that move before with a fire. At least he got me another Titanite chunk. That is more upgrades for my stuff. Uh, that little move he did with the fire, then I have never seen before. And I've played through this game like six, seven times. There you are. Anything down that way? There's still something behind the coffin. Um. Crossbow behind me. Right. Also, this place literally overlays with the beginning of the game. If I put a message down here, I can go back to the beginning of the game and see it. There's nothing there, so I will not bother. Yeah, this area is actually overlaid with the beginning of the game. Um, right, we get you over there. So we will go down the drop. Let's see what we get. Hidden blessing. Useful.
Nobody down there. Just crossbow man and friend. Or is there somebody? There is somebody over here. There. You guys taken care of. Now it is boss time. It's gonna be fun. Oi! Where did you come from? Oh, were you at the bottom of there? Bast. Right. We gonna run this time. I'm sure I have picked up all the items. I'll fight the grave tenders, or whatever they're called. These dudes. Everything else is getting run past. Be you out. Now the other one's on the left. If I manage to target him. Everybody else is getting run past. Because it's now just a run to the boss. And I have no idea how well I'm going to do against this boss because... I first did him at the beginning of the game. And even though I did him with pure magic, I wasn't fat rolling then. So. Ignore you. you and just run and we have boss man wake up see how you do our magic still does a decent amount it is just going to be the surviving bit that's tough angry. Oop, there we go. So, magic still does a great amount against him. Um, how should we do this? Should I be a dick? Um, on a tune. On a tune. Get crazy ray gun and we'll get our shield out as well. Where are you? Grass crest. So if we equip you, we have extra stamina and I could try parry him. I said try. No guarantee that I'll be able to actually do it. So we get you to deal with first. That candlestick actually makes a decent difference as well. Did not realise it made that much. Oh well. We will have to do without in favour of stamina regen and the ability to parry. So now we're just on the run. Let's go. We'll ignore you. Run this way. These guys are still standing up, so we'll just run 
around you. And in we go. Now, we are going to try and laser beam the boss. Just because. Laser beam. Oh well, that didn't work. We'll parry instead. Did not do it anywhere near as much as I expected it to. Although, to be fair, I think the spell did get cut off early. So, parry still works. Might be a bit harder when he gets to his aggressive phase, but we're going to do it. there was that fire move again. How are you doing to get a smell? This is my day off work so I'm trying to make some progress in Dark Souls. I have one boss down, I'm on to a second. <laughs> Poor Tycon. Caught by the curse of Jigglypuff. Kelly, did mum deliver the origami one I made to you? New Wi-Fi router. Right, come on. Way too early. And I should have dodged that. Eesh. going to take a bit to get used to the parry timing for this guy. But I think my plan is going to be parry him, cast, parry him, cast. It'll be the safest way to do it. There you go, there's that audio bug. A bit cutting out the footsteps. Have fun, Tycon. And thanks for dropping by. Right, uh, where is... He's still on the left. Where are you at? He's gone. Weird. Right, run we do. Get my shield ready for parries. Or trying to parry, I should say. We should run past all these nerds. what we're going for. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna get rid of. Get rid of that. Put. It'll put you on. Forming crystal saw mass will be useful. dealt with and now for the mad dash to the boss boop -doop, boop -doop, boop -doop, boop -doop. run past all these run past all these circle around this guy Soak around this guy and into the boss room. Use this one to heal. partial parry but not actually getting the parry off. I might just try dodging before. Like, Crystal Soul Spear is doing a decent amount to him. Or Soul Spear I should say. So I might just go up. Straight Soul Spear. Grave Warden gear. But we'll wait for you to go over that way a bit, shall we? Then I don't actually have to fight you. Bye. You must patrol in a circle then. Right, so this time we'll get Crystal Saw Mass on. We'll run past all these nerds. This buff up. Juice. A 
know what? Should have never bothered with parrying in the first place. Bye bye. And that's the champion Gondir dealt with. Two bosses down. Put you in the bank. Put you in the bank. Head back to Firelink for another level, which will give us Crystal Soul Spear, which I've been waiting for. So, Welcome. low Very level up. Not. Right, that gets me 48 int with the ring, which means Crystal Soul Spear. Crystal Soul Spear, Bombing Crystal Soul Mass, and Pharaoh Flash Sword. There we go. So that's you. Uh, let's see what Champion's Soul can give us. If anything, I might eat it for another level. Get my decks up to maximum casting speed. Hello. Uh, so. uh, begin transposition. What have we got? We've got Gundia's Halberd. And the Prisoner's Chain, which is a decent ring. Uh, but I'm not going to use it. Right. Vigor, Endurance and Vitality will take more damage. No. So we will pop the soul. How much are you going to give us? 20,000. Puts us up to 37. I need 44 for a level. Um, we got anything in here I can eat? We got you. You three. What do you give us? There we go, 47. It's another level. Welcome, husband. Hi, Trua. Well, I've just downed another boss. But yeah. Enjoy your freedom. Farewell, Ashen. Did it Hello. Ashen. You're good. Andre. I got a I got some more chunks. Get you up to a plus eight. Free to do what you want to do. Uh, nothing needs repairing. Can't ref infuse any of them. What I am tempted to do. Um, storage box for weapons. I got a Cestus here somewhere. I do. Hi, Marie. <laughs> How are you doing today? I am just in the middle of upgrades. Right, we want... We don't want crystal. We want simple. Simple's the one. And what we do... Is on this hand, we put this... Do a tester. If I've done this right. So that uses up a little bit of mana. Simple infusion should regenerate mana, I believe. Possibly. Yeah, it does. It went up by a tick. Not much. <laughs> Yeah, take your time. We should probably start prepping food at some point. Right, let's go explore the rest of Untended Graves. Get my sword out. So, if I remember right, there's not actually that many enemies in this area. 
it's mainly just items and stuff to collect. So let's go. Nothing over there. There's nothing over here, is there? No. Got a torch up there. Oh! It's a black knight. See how I knew spell fares. <laughs> Crystal soul spear, good. Even if it's expensive. Did not know, did not remember there being black knights in this area. More than one as well. See if we can't get this one by surprise. And I'll teach him. Anything useful over here? I thought I could hear walking then, I thought there was another one. But apparently I'm just hearing things. Um, you're the entrance to the shrine. Which means we go this way. What's around here? Anything? I see item up there. I also hear you. Ah, no, no. Need more spells. There. Dealt with. Is there going to be another one over here? There's going to be one hiding. This is usually where the samurai guy is. The, the old master or whatever he's called. And we get his sword, the Chaos Blade. Or we, see, or we get our version of his sword, I should say. I quite like the Chaos Blade. I've used it in a playthrough before. Uh, there you are. You know, if you can see it properly in the light, it's like a red rusted samurai sword. But yeah, it has a few nice abilities. Back to Big Stick. Boop, 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 boop. Getting messages from people at work. Right, uh, more exploring. So what's over this way? Any more knights? Soul. We got you. Anything over this way? No. Hornet ring? Which one's that? Is that the bow ring? I always forget which one hornets are. Uh, hornet boosts critical attacks. Nice. For all you backstabbers out there, hornet ring is best. Right, that's all the items out here. Go inside the shrine, where it's all still very dark. And there's no bonfire get this instead which is an infinite homeward, homeward bone um, so where is everyone this way we have the shrine maiden who is still here well fancy that 
a lost lamb wandereth in, with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? So she sells stuff. Priestess ring, wolf knight gear, dried fingers, which are useful, key to the tower. That's about all she's got with her here. You can also sell stuff to her. Andre in this timeline is dead. We can pick up his blacksmith hammer. What else is in here? Nothing around here. Nothing where our wizard friend usually is. Nothing down this way. Anything along this way? Nothing here. Uh, nothing down this way either. Right, to the rest of the shrine. I know there's at least one item I can pick up here, but I never really explore this place properly. So what's up behind all the thrones? Anything here? Nope. Nope, nope there. Nothing there. So up to the side areas. We got a tree. This is where Patches usually lives. Praise the crab. Uh, there's the Dark Souls 2 giant. Who gives us the seed. If I get invaded, I'm going to use that and show you the dumb stuff it does. Um, you still have the option of jumping over there. Right, up into the tower we go. I think. Maybe? No? Can we not open this? I thought we could open that. Mm. Unless we have to go a different way. over here I might just try the jump the jump is cheeky but if it works it works just make sure there's not a key or anything I can well, buy from this one first to skirt the curse's grasp tarry not for long it is dark for now and not a soul stirs but remember Fires, Fires are, are known, known to fade, fade in quiet. quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> um, so no, tower key is still just tower key. Best not. Do I have it with me? Old cell grand archive. Tower key, yes I do. So I should be able to get in. Mm -hmm. Let me in. No. Do it the old fashioned way. Or try to. The speedrunner tactic. It takes me forever to do it, so it's not really speedrunning, but you can run up this tree and then glitch jump sideways and basically jump onto that roof there. I've no idea why I can't get in the tower. Not even give me a prompt to open it. Got more messages from work.
Everybody say hello to Beth. Just sending her a message about work stuff. Today is my day off because I'm uh I'm working on Saturday. So if I have a work after work a Saturday or a Sunday, I get another day in the week off. Like I get a Monday, Tuesday off next week, which is gonna be fun. Um Oh Hidden Wall So, that's what I missed. <laughs> Eyes of a firekeeper. So yeah, for some reason, firekeepers lose their eyes. So it's said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. Reveals to sightless firekeepers things that they should never see. So we're going to go and give it to her. We've got Pretty much everything from here, I think. But I don't think we've missed out. So. No, nothing over there. Back to regular filing shrine, and we will use our fancy new coiled sword fragment to do it. This brings us back here. Let's fight. <laughs> Welcome Put home. your present. Speak thine heart's desire. You've got new Fashion eyes. One. Are these... Are these eyes? Why, I am. How gracious of thee, Ashen One. Very well, then ignore... Well, we have given her eyes. Farewell. I'll make her happy for now. Um... What else ah. were we gonna do? Um, all good for these. <laughs> Ashen one. Oh. Right, it's off to ah, Dragon Land now. Um, can't reinforce you anymore. We'll reinforce our little Cestus a little bit. I'm not sure if it affects re regen, but may as well just in case it does. So now we have a little candlestick that increases magic damage, shield for parrying and extra stamina regen, and our little Cestus for uh, magic regen. <gasps> Hi, Bwindon. You have just bis missed me beating uh, Gondir and Asiros. Got both of them down. Right, uh, there are all our spells. Put you away. And now we're off to. Is it in the dungeon? Yes, it is. The way to the dragon land is in the dungeon. Yeah, my uh, my entire plan for the stream today was to beat Aceros, and I beat him like third try. Um, so pull this. I'm sure this takes me to the right area, or at least close to it.
down yeah I have fully upgraded staffs as well now Brendan so heretics plus 10 court sorcerers is plus 10 once I get like two more int I've got a candlestick for extra magic damage grass crest for stamina and simple cestus for mana regen so this takes us to the rats. Um, where do we go from here? It's up the ladder. Up this long ass ladder. I can hear breathing. This pop saws out here. We need to go that way, don't we? So we go this way, run past even more rats. Lots of rats. Eh. Run past big rats. And we go left. This is the correct direction if I remember right. Yep, we here. Get me, bitch. <laughs> Stupid rats. And then we go and use this. Here we go. Onwards to everybody's favourite area. Well, the skulls drop hands 2.5%. If you got looting or anything, it makes it much easier. Dragon screamy sound. One. <laughs> I did have one at one point, but it was lost in one of my many trips to the nether. Um, get you ready. So now we are at the dragon shrine. I love a weary warrior. This place is fancy. Apart from the fact that it has an oh, Arch Dragon Street Peak, it's called. My mistake. Don't you be stretching your neck out at me. Small leather shield. Snow! There is a bunch of loot in this place. Yeah, Nameless is going to tear me us at Big Butthole. But at least I won't get stuck on phase one. Oop. Right. Ooh. Item. Mining jam. Perfect thing for killing dragons. So we have elevator I can't use. Got need these nerds spitting fireballs at me. If 
Fireballs do a lot. But you... More Titanite chunks. Yeah, Nameless King is going to be a tough one. Bonfire. More embers. around here. Turn out a chunk. Sneaky. Double sneaky. Ancient Dragon Great Shield. Is that the one that's got like silly fire resist on it? Wooden shield bearing the image of an ancient dragon very slowly regens HP. Painting the result of an exquisite but painstaking technique. Lingering undying traces of the ancient dragons can still be seen in their descendants, the man serpents, though they have fallen far from grace. And yeah, this is one of the fancy shields that lets you uh, use your weapon arts one handed. Give me item. So we have door. What's down here? Luckily these serpent men are uh, or a man serpents I should say are weak to magic. So I can just sorcery them. Oh, another item. Collecting all the loot. Another Titanite chunk. I should get enough in this place to fully upgrade my other items. Right, uh, we need to sip. And I'm going to try something silly here first. Just to see if I can do it. Hello, Mr. Wyvern. Four hundred and forty one. With enough sips, I would call this doable. Judge that. Ah. It's so awkward to see me to on. I will probably need to come back and rearrange my flasks to do this, but I think it's doable. Oh no, it's very doable actually.
I just need to avoid his stomps and shit. Quit this with my very slight amount of mana regen it gives me. Yeah, it's a pretty dragon. The dragon models in this game are great. Although, this is completely not how you're supposed to fight this guy. I'm gonna die on her purpose, get some sips back. and fight this boss completely the wrong way. So. Bonfire is right here. We're gonna... take a quick trip to our body Andre and get some more magic refills. Because we got a dragon to kill. Right. Andre, my buddy. Ah, just what needs. Uh, a lot. We'll go seven, eight. Pretty beaker. Um, yep, seven, eight. We've got. Swap you back to the candlestick. This should give us plenty of casts of Crystal Soul Spear, and we will try and kill the dragon the wrong way. Let's ignore these dudes. Ignore these dudes. And just run straight for the door. Make sure I've actually got Crystal Soul Spear on. Oh cool, he even flies in again. To make it easier on us. Oh, back run. Caught us with the edge of his fire then. positioning right but I can do it it's doable just need to position right for it this. So grab this. There we go. And then he drops right on my head. Oh no.
missed that shot completely. get him. I will. I'm quite happy to do this the complete wrong way just for the fun of it. Us. If he manages to stop, stomp us, and then stagger us again. Bum ba bum ba bum ba bum 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 ba bum ba bum. See, I'm gonna log on to to aim it properly. I 
that kids is how not to kill ancient rise by them. What you're actually supposed to do is run all the way up there and then plunge attack him for a single kill. But no, I, I decided to do it the wrong way. And now we get teleported to a new area. Bum, bum, bum. We also get the dragon headstone. Which is pretty cool. Although I'm not going to use it. So. This is new area of Dragon Breek. Whoa. Oh. What we're going to do is we're going to rest. Travel back to Firelink, see if I have enough for a level. <clears throat> Cleaning the bath. I easily have enough for a level, maybe Once. even two. So we will go for... There we go. 15. I'm pretty sure that's the cast speed max. I will double check. Uh, DS3 cast speed. Oh, it's 20 decks. Um, to reach the cap. We will leave it at 15 then. 15 is a good number. Sage ring plus one will get it to us. Um, you have to wait for new game plus to get the plus one version though. Oh well. So we got a, a little bit more decks. That gives us slightly faster casting speed. And then... Put you in there, put you in there. Put you in there, put you in there. Put you in there. And we will go back to the earlier bit. <coughs> so we can explore in peace. Sit in peace, there's still enemies up there. Yeah, nobody likes cleaning the bath. It's a pain. There is item there that I missed. Take these two nerds out. What's this? Titanite chunk. Useful. Right, now we go this way. Oh, we get to explore all of this in peace without a giant dragon breathing fire at us. So we have... So you can see some statues up there. I'm never sure whether they're meant to be actual dragons or just statues. A uh, large soul of a weary warrior. We got the bell. Doesn't ring. More items down this way. Where we have an ember. Another ember. Stalk dung pies. These are pies you can throw behind you. And I see shiny down here. And there's messages, which means... Yep. Ring of Steel Protection. That's pretty good. That's like physical damage reduction. Yeah, increases physical damage absorption. If you're going a full melee build, that's pretty useful. Especially if you want to go full tanky. I did quite like the Dragon in the Elden Ring Network test. Like... If you did him with multiple people, he was quite tough. Doing him on your own was actually comparatively easy. It wasn't easy, but easier than doing it with multiple people. Hi, Buena. You just missed me fighting the dragon the wrong way. 
I just stood there and cast spells at it. We got lightning guns. I am just here collecting all my loot. All my wonderful loot. Bam, 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 bam. Right. Down this way. Ooh. Cheeky bastard. Man serpent hatchets. It's not really a hatchet, it's a curved sword. Look at it. There you go, man so that doesn't look like a hatchet. Looks like a I forgot what the name for it is now. And the Kopesh, because the Kopesh is the other way around. There is a name for that kind of sword. Where's this go? Or ahead. <laughs> yeah, he's a pain. Like I did. This is just new game, but it's my my challenge one where I'm fat rolling and it's just sorcery. And instead of running all the way around to get the plunging attack on him, I just stood there and cast Crystal Soul Spear at him and managed to kill him eventually. Have fun, Brendan. But yeah, I've beat the Seros, I've beat Champion Gundir, and I've beat that Wyvern now. If I'm lucky, I might even make it to Nameless today. Now is where my damage starts ramping up as well because because I've been getting my other stats in line. My int isn't as high as it should be. So now I'm going to start ramping it up to about 60, I think. 60 is what we want it at. And this bit of exploring is pretty easy because these dudes are all weak to magic. So as long as I don't get caught in a combo, I'm good. It's out this way. So your stairs up, your also stairs up. Nameless King is the yeah, the dude riding the dragon. <laughs> I've been alternating, Brina, between Pokemon and this. Although everybody's playing the new Arceus one at the moment. So I've just been playing it off stream. Ow. <laughs> it's a decent game though. It's a big change from the previous Pokemon games. But yeah, everybody's playing it. More loot. Two Titanite chunks. And a surprise man. Anybody else hiding around the outside? Nope. Good. Give me more items. Lightning bolts. Got you hiding up here. <laughs> Censorship. Right, now we got these nerds. Oh yeah, we got the extra big one down here, don't we? Extra big man serpent man thing. 
an extra big weapon. Ah. Ow. Got caught by his fire and then by a fireball from the other dude. Hi, Craig. You've already missed three bosses. <laughs> yeah, I got a Seros champion gone dead down in the first like half an hour. And then I killed this Drake or Wyvern using just spells. So I'm just going to get the rest of my loot from this area. Yep. I am hoping to reach Namos by the end of the stream. Leave me alone. <laughs> Granted, I am more experienced than Muffor, but Muffor also doubts the power of sorcery, so it's his own fault. You did drop item. Or it's an eye shard. <laughs> I also have that Bloodborne demake stashed on my PC which I might show off on Discord later or if I do like an extra stream during the week I might do the Bloodborne demake PlayStation 1 Bloodborne looks like nightmare creatures to hit me from there. I'm down the stairs. Got you. Yeah, I'm going to see if my usual route works for it. I'll also need to set up my PlayStation controller for it. I don't have my PlayStation controller set up with my PC at the moment. Hundred and twenty one with the skellies, how many skulls? One. You're lucky you've got one. Um crystal soul spear, please, and we'll get you out as well. Oi. Who said your sp your little things were allowed homing? And I immediately ran out of range, because I'm an idiot. There, that'll teach you. Soul spear to the face. Yeah, I've seen people kill hundreds of those so it's spiky and not get any, so you definitely want looting if you can get it. It helps a lot. Go 
gotcha. And now this is where the teleport took us, or it'll teleport took us to the opposite side. So now we have a look around the scaffolding for extra loot. There is loot on the scaffolding. Hey look, there's a statue of the Nameless King down there, I forgot. There's actual statues of him. Twinkling Titanite, I do not care about you. Oh yeah, this is the drop-off. This is where you would normally kill the Drake. It would wander down, put its head down here, and you plunge attack its face. But we go in this way. Yeah, liar ahead. And then we drop down this. Heal up a bit. And safely drop down here. And that is all the loot we can get. How many souls are we on? 48,000. That's almost enough for a level. We'll take out these nerds up here and uh, that should give us enough. Just heading back to the bonfire to hand in my loot and hopefully level up a bit. I need to rearrange these uh these Estus flasks again as well. Yeah, this should easily be enough for a level. <laughs> Yeah, if you've not seen this before, Phil, this is a, a challenge run I'm doing. So it's pure sorcery. No melee weapons or anything like that. And I can only fat roll with heavy armor on. Welcome us. Very well, then take nourish. Ah, lurking while you're at work. Have fun. There we go. Slightly more in, slightly more damage. See if we can upgrade some of them, our, our toys a bit more as well. Um, candlestick, up to plus nine. And put you up to plus eight. Pretty, my <laughs> gold. I buy chunks yet. Yeah. You selling them? No. Ashen one. Probably have to beat Nameless before you do that. I quite enjoy these games. I've played the entire series of them, apart from Demon Souls. Demon Souls is the only one I've not played. Um, not played fully, I should say. But I've completed all the rest. I've done Dark Souls 1 and 2 at level 1. So without leveling up all the way through, I'm still working on that for Dark Souls 3, but I'm a bit stuck. And I'm doing this one as a challenge run as well. Uh -huh. It's PvP man. A proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were a dangerous woman. Now yeah, I got applause. Now and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, 
Give yourself <laughs> to Rosaria of the. <laughs> no, I am a good boy. I am a friendly, helpful person. That's why I've got. Way of the blue and or the dark moons, I should say. Dark moons best. Right. Uh, if I remember right, we should have a friend up here now. Seeing as I've skipped ninety percent of the storyline for him. Yep. Oh, hello again. Welcome to Patch's Boutique of Wonders. <laughs> Can't resist it, can you? You got patches. I will probably do Demon Souls at some point. Can't find you. But I'm doing Bloodborne after this one just to get a a break from the actual Souls ones. Plus I'll be playing Elden Ring when it comes out as well, so I'll be devoting a ton of time to that. Although I'm doing that off stream first just so I can like have a nice chill playthrough for it. I will do Demon Souls at some point. Um, so now we're back up to Dragon Peak. Oh shit. Where are you? Bell ringing bitch. There. Oh, right off. And I better still have the Phantom to fight Donna, that nerd there. Oh well. Time for some kind of PvP. Where is he? Where's he gone? Bottom of the stairs. Nice. It's all over crystal now. Right, is there anything useful in here? Or is it all just dead dragon dudes? I see you down there. That's the bridge I went across. You're a shiny lizard. Twelve-hour stream, Elden Ring. Sounds like a good idea. Where does this go? Let's go back to the start. It does. It goes all the way down here. Don't know why you'd use this shortcut. Like the other bonfire you get is literally just out there. 69 hour stream. Here you go, Greg. Start streaming. Do not stop until you've finished the game. There. Sorted. You can do it however long it takes. Ah! Fuck these guys. What a trap. Right, I'm gonna have to, I have to kill the bell ringing bitch again. Fuck you. Fuck you. Right, uh. Where's the dude she summoned? Did she even get the summon off? She probably did. It's only a bell ring. Move in. <laughs> there he is. Dead. 
Oh, there is something in here, I've just remembered. Um, it's not this. Is it here? Yeah, it is. I'm sure it's here. There we go, Calamity Ring. The ring nobody uses unless they feel like being awkward. Because... Where has it gone? Receive double damage. Right, let's go and get them salts back. So, this is trap. Got you. What's actually out here? Titanite scale, is that all? All we get for that stupid trap. Yeah, people thought it was going to be in development hell for a bit. Just because it got delayed. And then... Over here we have... Stairs going down, and then... We'll check this bottom bit first. Bee 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 But yeah, all these people in here are supposed to be like... People who have come to learn the path of the dragon. To like, try and make themselves immortal. Be wary of right side. Ambush ahead. Yeah, try. Ooh. You also have little magic resist. I am fine with this. More tonight scale. Oh, it just goes in a loop. Never mind. And you're the ladder that goes up to plunging attack, is it? I think that's where you go. Yeah, across the bridge up the ladder. Cool. Is that bit done? <laughs> I honestly would not mind if it got delayed again. Like, I would prefer a delayed game that's polished. Uh, Dragon Slayer Spear. The good old Ornstein's Spear. Cross Spear associated with Ornstein, the Dragon Slayer weapon of gods imbued with the strength of lightning. <gasps> yeah, if it happens now, it's entirely Bart's fault. We'll get him for it. He'll get the blame. Right. Time for copious amount of ambushes. Be you liar. Thank you. Why did I quick turn? That failed miserably. Yeah, I pre-ordered it. I, uh... It popped up on my... PS5 saying, oh yeah, you can like preload it if you pre-order it. So I predictably pre-ordered. So I can... Preload it and play it on the day. I'm hiding in the corner. 
get a friend behind the pillar as well. No! There. <gasps> Hi Dave! How are you doing? I am walking fine. Thank you. <laughs> Already missed me killing three bosses. Um, oh, big boy. Almost fucked that up. Off for ten days. Nice. Yeah, my holidays ended yesterday, unfortunately. That was off for like almost a week. I need to book some more. I've got holidays to use up. Uh, so we've got scaffolding way. Or other scaffolding way we'll go for other scaffolding way so over here we got death um, more death apparently oh that's where just that drop off there goes never mind <laughs> Sneaky week off. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be a petrified dragon and not just a statue. I hear twinkly sound. Twinkly bug. Where you at? Twinkling Titanite. The thing I'm not using. Right, which way do we go? Uh, raise the sun. This way appears to be... <clears throat> Some poor sap just ran off the edge. I'm just going to chest. What's in here? More Titanite scales. Yeah, is your internet looking any better, Dave? Like, you said the engineer had been. You just need to give it a couple of days to settle or something. Um, we got... Big bug. Another big bug. Can't do anything over here, can I? No. I see you over there, Mr. Moving Dragon. Yep, here he comes. Missed me. He landed as well. And then now he's up there. Is he going to drop down again? Yep. Tell you what. Can we kill him?
How did that one manage to weigh more? There we go. Just need to make sure I'm hitting the right bit. Yeah, it's just done, Dave. It saw me drop down that hole and just did not realise I'd gone further. Right. I'm almost out of casts now, though, so we will switch to magic regen. They can breathe fire. I also got enough souls for another level, so I really don't want to die around here. <laughs> Colluding with the dragons. We're all working on the same side to make Mothfall look bad. Um, we got it here. We got... No good fellow. Bitch. Um, bugger it. I've got infinite uses now. I can go back and level up. It would give me a good break to grab a snack as well, so. Well, speak. Wake up. Give me some more of that lovely int. And now, how much do I need for another level? Uh, 50k on the dot. I might actually have enough on me. Yeah. You in there, put Drake Blood in. Ah. Um, sell. So. Sell you two. Puts me up to 43. 51k. There we go. Yeah, Dark Souls 3. If you ever don't want to. Guess how much the souls are actually worth. You can sell them to her for the same amount it co you get for popping them. Uh, now, it is worth me swapping staffs if I remember right. Yeah, there we go. Spell buff 206. 202, 206. Uh, slightly more expensive cast. Slightly less weight. Less durability. But better staff overall. So, what sort of staff it is. We can put you back in storage. Am I still fat rolling? Still fat rolling, just in case. And we'll see if we can't upgrade the... Uh, Assessed us up another chunk. There we go. You're a plus nine, plus nine. I don't have any more Titanite slabs, so neither of you go into plus ten. But there we go. Grass crash shield up a bit. So I'm going to rest the bonfire. I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm just going to grab a snack. So I will leave you with the lovely Fire Link music. I shall be back shortly. Rum.
be nerds. Watch going for a smudge. I went and got myself a coffee and some best of British snacks. Mini cheddars. Right, um Yes, we'd swap staffs. And it was Basically, I'm going to have to dash through all this so I don't waste all my magic again. We're going up. Luckily, most of this stuff is pretty much pretty slow to react. a few like these cunts who are like have stretchy limbs and shit but as long as I can mainly avoid actually getting hit I'll be alright I can't see you're the wrong Estus me off the edge. <laughs> Don't get hit. Just get knocked straight over the railing into the abyss. Right. Try again. Pew. Right. Then we run. There is shortcut this way. Ha, dodge. And we need to go to the right. Yes. I don't think the dragon respawns. No, it doesn't. It's just the bugs we've got to worry about. And those guys can knock you off the edge if they catch you. I'm just going to run from them. Yep. Run away. And we made it. And we're back here again. We dispatch. I can reach over here. Good. And she summons Havel. It's almost never Havel. And Havel is anti sorcery, so this is going to be interesting. That was my strongest spell and it did almost nothing. Alright, he's gimped himself a bit there. Almost. But we get Havel's fancy weapons. There is another NPC who shows up there. He's way more common. He's like a a duelist with a rapier. And like nine times out of ten he shows up. We got Big Bell. Hold the lever, Gronk. No, wrong lever.
And now we call the king. Boom, boom, boom. Well, we got a bit more exploring to do before we actually fight that guy. Here he comes. Here comes the storm. Yeah. Such a pretty character we've got as well. And there's the entrance to the arena. But we're not going there just yet. First we go the other way, because bonfire, that's why. Oh yeah, now it's all cloudy and misty in here. So first we go, which way was it? Is it up here? It was. See what's through this way. I can hear something sleeping. It's you. That was also completely the wrong spell to use, but we'll grit. Um Chest. Chest has more twinkling titanite. If only I was upgrading something that actually used that. And now up the ladder is another havel maybe? Yes. Maybe we can get a surprise one off on him. Hey, Havel. as well pick that up. Oh, it's a Titanite slab. That will allow me to fully upgrade something. Guy just doesn't want to put his shield down. Ah, oh, that's better. Now I can just lay into it. And yeah, really don't get hit. That guy would probably one-shot me. Death. So another dead dragon. Poor thing. Uh, any more loot up here? Nope. Time to look the other way. We've got that bit over there to get to. We. So now we gotta go this way. Got all these nerds hiding outside. What's that? Oh, he's there on the right. I see you. Solo a crestfallen knight. Anybody hiding around here? No. What about down here? Or is this blocked off? Hi, Biff. Yeah, I told everybody earlier I was messaging you while streaming. <laughs> I 
Ember. Dora can't get through. Right, what's up this way? Oh, there's a bunch of you up here. Including one of the big fellas. You'll get there eventually, Brina. You've done well with most of it so far. Well, with all of it so far, to be honest. Just a matter of time. Hey, Bor. Right, it's these nerds dealt with. We've got another big one. But I'm out of casts. So we are going to go and sit to the bonfire that's just over here. <gasps> Yay, nice one, Spike. Um, do I have enough for another level? It's worth checking, just in case. Uh, put you in there. Put you in there. Travel. Fire link. Can. Oh, you mean the ladder up? Like go up there and I can drop down. We'll have a look. Um, let me just see if I can get another level. Ashen one. How much do I need? Uh, souls twenty three require fifty one. Uh, -huh. uh, yeah, I can do it. Sell you. Well, you two. 53. One. Well, cause very well then take no. Right. 47. Even more int. Farewell, Ashley. Um. A tune. Hey, I've got access to it now. White Dragon Breath. Now, just to show you guys this, because it is a cool spell, uh, I need to go somewhere. Yeah, this is vaguely safe. Yeah. Oh, no. Is it for Beth, anybody we know? Or is it just a bad one? Yeah, you'll get there eventually, Brina. It's just a matter of time. Right, so... Go back this way. To where I fought Havel. Let's get past this bitch, because can't be asked. Uh, we got bug. So Brina said there's a bit I could drop down. Uh, double headers, no way. So what you need to do, Beth, is save some for me and say that they need doing at the weekend that way I can just avoid doing the other shit people try and pile on me <gasps> is this what Brina was talking about? I've been that way that's the path I got used to get up here I think Brina lied Uh, 
Sabrina lied to me. Little ledge. Now the only drop down I can see is this, which is the, oh no, this is above the route that I used to get here. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's this. So the bugs down there, a bug here. You were right, Brina, there is loot here. Great magic barrier. Oh, it's a miracle, isn't it? Yeah, miracle. Oh, well. Worth collecting anyway. Now, is this bitch summoned another Havel? Or is she summoned Rickard this time? Bitch. She summoned Rickard. Come on, Rickard, show yourself. Uh. So yeah, that there is Rickard. That's the guy who gets summoned nine times out of ten. Havel is the other one time. Oh well. We've got that bit explored, which is what I wanted to do. I will put... Put the miracle away. We're going to make our way to the peak. Try a white dragon breath on the big fella. I did all right. Oh. Hey, he dropped a chunk. Now we've got this lot that appears. Hey! What think you're doing? I'm sure I'm supposed to do something with uh, an ember here as well, but I can't remember what. I think I'm supposed to ember myself, actually. Right, white dragon breath these guys. Get almost all of them in a row. Come on. Get in range. Crystal Soul Spear, this big boom. If I can even hit him. And I'm out of juice. Got ya. 
There's something to do with a quest line here. I can't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do for it. I know it involves summoning a guy who goes all the way up here, but I can't remember how I get him here. Bug. Dragon Chaser's Ashes. There'll be more items at the shop for me to use. Anybody in here? No, no, nobody there. Nobody hiding off to the side. We got more dragons. We're going to alter at the top. Hey, that's a big dragon. Try gesture. It'll be this one then, won't it? Ooh. It's the Twinkling Mon. The slightly better version. So all that's left now is this quest line, however it works, and Nameless. Um, so let's go and have a look at Firelink, because that's usually where we find the guys, the quest fallen guy. Where you at? You're usually here somewhere. Or are you outside? How many souls are we on? 20,000. I don't have enough to make up a level. Um, way out is over here. Stupid loading. Is he over here next to one of these graves or something? No, he's not. I know he was one of the um, Abyss Watchers. Try going there. I don't know, I might have broken the quest line. It's quite easy to break some of them and never be able to finish it. So, uh, look for Farron Keek, Old Wolf, we want Perimeter. And then we'll go and see if he's in there. If he's not in there, I will look it up and find out what we have to do, whether I've just broken it or not. So, go this way. Run past our old friends, the groom. To the boss room. Is he in here? He is. This is where I was supposed to go. This is well, I've decided to stop running from the thing. One awkward. You 
you've got like the cool sword and everything, but magic wins. Healing. Ah, you're empty. A bit awkward. Love, dragon. More dragon than I. Twinkling dragon headstone. Cool. Awkward dealt with. And now I have. Where do they go? They go in usable items, don't they? Twinkling dragon head. Twinkling dragon torso. And I'll show you what these do because. Fun. So Dusk, Lothric, Brass, Brass. If we get Dragon Torso, I am become Dragon. Use it again. Get a fancy claw attack. Dragon Headstone. She breathe fire. And the uh, torso stone also gives you a buff. See, this is an attack buff. And you can't wear I wear armor while you're in this form. Uh, back to Fire Link. I also, if I remember right, I also can't change out of this form until I die. Yeah. Oh well. It does give some nice buffs. Um, does the regular torso of stone just let you roar? Grave. Awkward so grass. Uh, reinforce you. Oh, you use twin think. Nice. So I've got Hawkwood's Sword Grass. What does that do? Let's stay in Sword Grass fought with the Zeds. Traditionally on legend. Come to Mausoleum in Farron. Only one can take the path of ancient dragons. Oh yeah. So I've just done that bit. I've fought him. If I go back to... Yeah, Barina. They do that. It's great. If I go and grab... Dragon Torso Stone and Dragon Headstone. I think one of them is just the buff. Oh. So we go back to Great Belfry. Which one of these is it I need to use for the buff? So you're the roar. You're the breathe fire. So I'll leave this on. I can use the roar for a damage buff until I die or whatever. Um, so let's go and have a bash at Nameless, shall we? I'm not going to go too much longer. Probably till about half past. Um, and then I've got other stuff I need to do. So we will give Nameless a couple of bashes. Uh, we'll put Great Heavy on for now. We've still got 8-7 split. 
We've got a candlestick on. So let's go and meet Nameless and Friend. Here they come. Oh, you take a lot of magic damage. Um, I can't repost. So, um... Imagine getting stuck on phase one. Now let's see how much magic damage I do to Nameless himself. I also need to top up my magic. So yeah, as is tradition, he's going to take its soul to top up himself. That's what he's actually doing there. And I am Tiny Dragon Man, trying to fight him. I also realised I'm not fat rolling because I'm in the dragon form. So even if I do knock him down a fair bit, I'm not going to kill him. Because we are not fat rolling and therefore it's not fair. But Oh you take a decent amount He takes a decent amount of magic damage And that was just the great heavy soul arrow as well So Put the armor back on So Crown of Dusk for extra spell damage Uh, then we need brass, brass, brass. Where are you? Brass gauntlets. Brass leggings. Fat roll. Take you off. Get rid of you. Yeah, I, I expect to be making this corpse run a lot as well, Brina. Put you in the bin. Put you in the bin. Uh, attune spells, so I'm not scrolling too much. We're just going to be using those two. Um, in fact, we'll put Crystal Soul Mass on as well, just for the hell of it. Time for round two, with me actually fat rolling this time. And they do handily put your souls outside the door because they knew this was going to be a tough fight. The only thing I don't like about this arena, because you can't see the floor properly, it's hard to judge like exactly how far you're moving. Other than that, it's alright. One crystal. Come on, big boy. So, um, King of the Storm is not too much of a problem. And then, oh, he killed me. A little bit too cocky there. Chaos bed vestiges is a decent spell. 
I quite like using that when I'm a pyromancer. That and Flame Surge, even though Flame Surge is like trash in most circumstances. Let's buff the spear this time. I used the wrong one. Yeah, I'll fuck that up. this wrong spell but we'll grip I wonder if I can just distance him. Time that dodge. Um. Miss time that one. Yeah, I was surprised how well that distancing worked then. So, uh... May as well have another couple of bashes at Prince Lothric and friend. So yeah, this will get me at least another level, maybe two. Um, I've got access to the higher level spells now. Um, so we'll go back to Lothric and Lorien. Once Lothric and Lorien are drowned, I'll move on to the DLC.
But um, yeah, we've got everything from here. Light this just in case. Yeah, ninety-nine thousand. It's gonna get us a level, maybe two. This is another Titanite slab. Sweet. I might actually just fully upgrade my other tools. Like, doesn't make a massive difference with them, but it helps. Right, what's well, long here? Any loot? Loot, please. More loot. Nothing there. There's a message over here basically just saying nothing. Right over here. This door just leads back to, yeah, it leads back to the entrance. Uh, we got loot here. Oh, it's Ornstein set. I might swap a bit, a couple of bits round to have Ornstein set on. Uh, I don't think there's anything up this side though. No. No shinies. Right, it's called level up. One thing I do love about this area, because the arena's on a platform, when you've done the boss, you can see the bloodstains floating in the air, like that one there. Right, that's Arch Dragon Peak done. Uh, travel to Firelink. Got another 15 minutes, so I will level up. And we'll give Lothric and Lorien a couple of bashes at least. Uh, we've got his soul. See what his soul gives us. If it's nothing good, I might just pop it. My friend, Legless Ludleth, what can you give me? Transposition, we've got Lightning Storms, Miracle, meh. Storm Curved Sword. Meh. Dragon Slayer Sword Spear. Meh. No. Nothing interesting for this character, so let's go for the levels. Welcome. Level up. Uh, int. Farewell, Ashley. Tell you what, I'll get these things up to plus ten just because. Right, I got two slabs. So we'll get candle slip up to ten. Cestus up to ten. If I find another slab, I'll put my shield up to ten as well. And that'll be everything fully upgraded. To give you this ash. Dragon Chase's ashes. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Right, what do you sell now? Uh, more embers. More blessings. These are all unlimited. Sweet. Luring skulls aren't unlimited, but I'm not using those things. And you now sell chunks. Unlimited. Sweet. Boom, boom, boom. Um, we've got weapons and shit. Shields. More armor sets. Oh, you sell namelesses stuff. Right. Ashen one. Um, sell. That's what we wanted uh. to. You're 16,000. That'll get me a level. Ashen one. Well, very well. Then hit. Forty-nine. Farewell, Ashen. So with the ring on, that puts us at fifty-four int. Good. Uh, tune. We'll put flash sword back on. And now we'll go and say hello to 
Lorien and Lothric again. The one we want. Is it this one? I can't remember. Where does this lift go? This lift just goes to the churchy bit. We don't want to be there. May, we, may as well use that seeing as it's infinite use. And we want to go to Dragon Slayer. Why the fuck did I just go to Dragon Slayer? It's literally just over the hill. You can see the Grand Archives bonfire. It's over there. Right, anyway. We run back this way. Um. Dragon Slayer gauntlets. And Dragon Slayer legs, where are you? There we go, we are slightly shinier. Oh yeah, now we are the shiny wizard. Sweet. Let's wear this. of wizards. Right, so it's this lift that I wanted. And it's the wrong one. Well, not the wrong one. I need to send it back up. Because this is the secret area. Like, it even has, like, gemstones in the chest of it. Just a cool piece of armor. Right. Now we send you back down. You're meant to be the secret lift, and the actual lift we want comes back down. Or, uh. Yeah. There it is. And this will take us all the way to the top. He's wandered past. And then go and give twin princes a try. Uh, so we've got crystal saw mass ready. Run forward. Yeah. I failed at the dodge, but. That's not too bad. It's his brother I'm going to struggle with. Because his brother has all of the magic resist. Ow. Didn't manage to dodge it. So Lorien is like, Lorien and Lothric, they've both got different weaknesses. So the guy you fight first is weak to magic and he's weak to 
pyromancy. Um, you mean this one, Dave? No, that's just for like getting quick hits in if I absolutely need them. Um, or for fighting piddly little enemies. But yeah, the first guy you fight there. Do it far away, Spike. Do it far away. So yeah, the uh, the first guy is weak to sorcery, very weak to sorcery, very weak to pyromancy. The second guy who comes in in phase two is highly resistant to everything other than physical damage. And because I'm doing pure sorcerer, I don't do physical damage. Right. Sprint. Roll. I managed it. Got it. Here we go, phase two. So this guy goes down. That guy up there is the one highly resistant yeah, to everything but physical. I'm on my way. And he comes down and reses him. Brother. So. Unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. Rise if you would. Res him. For that. Is our curse. And back to the fight we go. So I've made it to this point multiple times. It's getting past here that's causing me trouble. Because because of the magic resist more than anything else. He's powering up his sword. They're both embered now. And they're both right behind me. So. I chose the wrong time to cast them. I'm aware I can use Pestilent Mist and I might have to resort to that for the the Hooded Brother seeing as that's percentage based damage it'll uh, ignore his resistances it's just static so I'm going to have to draw him into it or wait until Older Brother collapses and then cast it You managed it. Right, 
Right, this might take a fair bit of practice because I'm basically glass cannoning this. So, get ready. Oops, yeah. So, it's a bit of both, Spike. I've played this game a few times before, so I kind of know the bosses. Um, Muffal also tends to... He jumps a lot around a lot between his weapons, so they're not, like, upgraded as much as they should be, basically. Is the way I can put it. Like, when you're reaching this guy, you should be using... Fully upgraded plus 10 weapons and you should have all of your stats basically where you want them to be but he tends to like he swapped around weapons a few times so he swapped to using the scythe instead of using the jaw blades and stuff like that Um, you can, but there's limited resources available for levelling up your weapons. So, like... Um, where's the upgrade materials gone? So, these are upgrade materials. So, Titanite Shards, Large Titanite Shards, they're fine. You can get up to, like, plus six. To get beyond plus six, you've got to use Titanite Chunks. There are a limited number of titanite chunks in the game until you've killed Nameless. Uh, once that's done, you can get all the way up to plus nine. Then you can get titanite slabs to get stuff to, pl to plus ten. But there are a set number of titanite slabs in the game with no way to get more afterwards. Yeah, that limitation will still be there, Greg, because it's like a, an integral way of how they do the scaling for stuff. But they've said that there will be a lot more upgrade resources available in Elden Ring. Like in Dark Souls 1, you get one Titanite slab for the entire playthrough spike. Uh, two if you do the DLC. So you can only max out one weapon. Therefore, you've got to be sure what you want to use. Um, and then you get that maxed out. Right. again there how much can we do this spot wow but you may rest here too Right. 
that is me done for now. It is half four. We've done well. We've basically done all the optional bosses for the base game. For this base game, we've literally just got these two and Soul of Cinder left. But after I've done these two, then I'm going to do all the DLC. And I'm going to do Soul of Cinder. Very, very last of everything. So, it was done for today. Go to the fancy ending stream. Uh, we'll find somebody to raid. Let's see who's... Who is live right now? Bum, 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 bum. Who is on that we can annoy? Citrus playing with Valheim. Muff or live? <laughs> Oh, Muffo, you missed it. I've downed, like, four bosses in one stream. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, a Seros, Champion Gondir, uh, the Ancient Wyvern, and Nameless King down. All this stream. So I've just got Twin Princes and Cinder for a uh, base game, and then I've got the DLC to do. So yeah, I've hammered through it today. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we're going to find somebody to raid. We'll raid Citrus because Valheim. It has been too long since I've seen any Valheim. But yeah, that was my... Uh, made good progress today. I've maxed out a bunch of my stuff. So... Go say hi to Citrus. Valheim is an interesting game. I need to get back into it. So there's been a few patches since I last played it. Uh, be good, everybody. Be nice. Apart from Muffle, because we know Muffle never behaves. Uh, I will see you all next time. I'll be posting in Discord like when I'm next streaming, because I'm on wonky hours and stuff again next week. Have fun, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.